హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ మెడ్ వేదా వైర్ ఈసీ కెన్ న్యూ లర్నింగ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ విత్ మీ టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈసీ కిల్స్ సెల్ అనేమియా ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ జెనెటిక్ డిసార్డర్ ఇంపాక్టింగ్ రెడ్ బ్లడ్ సెల్స్ కాజింగ్ దెమ్ టు బికమ్ సిక్కిల్ ఆర్ క్రీస్ అండ్ షేప్ డ్యూ టు అబ్నార్మల్ హిమోగ్లోబిన్ దట్ ఈస్ హిమోగ్లోబిన్ ఎస్ చైన్ దిస్ మిస్ హ్యాపన్ ఫార్మ్ హిండర్స్ ది సెల్స్ అబిలిటీ టు క్యారీ సఫిషియంట్ ఆక్సిజన్ leading to a shortage of healthy rbcs in the body this premature destruction of rbcs non hemolytic anemia we discussed detail in our previous videos please go and check the links are provided in the description next pathophysiology the mutation causes the replacement of a normal amino acid glutamic acid with valine in the hemoglobin protein chain The altered hemoglobin S gene tends to polymerize under conditions of low oxygen levels causing the RBCs into long rods become rigid inflexible and assume a sickle shape the vaso occlusive episodes means where sickle cells clump together and block blood vessels result in pain organ damage then what happen less oxygen to tissues of our body these sickle cells have shorter life span than normal rbcs that is 20 days and contribute to a chronic shortage of rbcs leading to anemia peripheral blood smear dipranocytes also known as sickle cells a hallmark of sickle cell anemia targel cells refer to rbcs with a bull eye appearance anisocytes or red blood cells of unequal sizes and pyelocytes indicates an abnormal variability in the shape of rbcs these are the characteristics observed in sickle cell anemia clinical features symptoms vary from person to person and change over time includes first anemia we know sickle cells break apart easily and die leaving you without enough rbcs RBCs usually live about 120 days before they need to be replaced but sickle cells usually die in 10 to 20 days without enough RBCs your body can't get the oxygen causing fatigue second periodic episodes of pain called crises it is a major symptom of sickle cell anemia pain develops when sickle shaped RBCs block blood flow through kidney blood vessels to your chest abdomen and joints mainly occur in your bones third painful swelling of hands and feet due to blocking of blood flow to the hands and feet fourth delayed growth a shortage of healthy rbcs can slow in growth in infants and children and delay puberty in teenagers last vision problems tinny blood vessels that supply your eyes may become plugged with sickle cells this can damage the retina sickle cell anemia can lead to a host of complications including if sickle cells block blood flow to an area of brain stroke may occur signs you see seizure weakness in your arms and legs sudden speech difficulties and loss of consciousness if your baby or child has any of these signs seek medical treatment immediately a stroke can be fatal people with sickle cell anemia can develop high blood pressure in your lungs this complication usually affects adults rather than children that is pulmonary hypertension which is fatal shortness of breath and fatigue are common symptoms of this next chronic deprivation of oxygen rich blood can damage nerves and organs in your body including your kidney liver and spleen the breakdown of rbcs produces a substance called bilirubin a high level of bilirubin in your body can lead to gallstones diagnosis Blood counts can reveal hemoglobin level in the range of 6 to 8 grams per deciliter whereas blood film shows RBCs that appear as irregularly contracted cells in adults a blood sample is drawn from a veins in the arm 
in young children and babies it was challenging so collected it from a finger or heel treatment children with sickle cell anemia may begin taking the antibiotic penicillin when they are about 2 months old and continue taking it until they are at least 5 years old so helps prevent infections such as pneumonia As an adult if you had your spleen removed or had pneumonia you might need to take penicillin throughout your life hydroxyurea reduces the frequency of painful crises regular blood transfusions it increases the number of normal rbcs in circulation helping to relieve anemia and also prevent high risk complications like stroke lastly vaccination it is important to prevent infections vaccines such as pneumonical vaccine and the annual flu shot are important for adults with sickle cell anemia thanking you if you found this as useful as we did hit that like button subscribe for more medical insights and keep rocking